Yo, what's up everybody? This is the most powerful ring light I think I got. <laughs> it's like, wake up in the morning. Uh, what's up everybody? Hey, um, hey, look, I wanted to talk about something today real quick that I think is relevant and uh, worth talking about, which is um, belief. I went to New York over the weekend and had my mind blown big time. I was hanging out with Bill Petit, who's a buddy of mine. You guys might know him from Cora as well. Uh, we're both comedians here in Chicago. He just moved to New York recently. Um, he's had a lot of success out there just in two months, just just doing shit, just going for it, just hitting up comedy clubs, uh, meeting people, making stuff happen, trying to trying to really trying to like make it happen. And um, something happened that really blew really blew my mind. And um, it's an idea I want to talk about real quick. Uh, coming in on the airplane, it's the first time I'd ever been in New York City. I saw the city and something like clicked in my mind that went, holy shit, this is a real, this is actually a real place. Like this is an actual location, real people live here, and this is a, this is where people spend their time, and real things happen. And that weekend I met some famous people uh, who I won't mention. Um, maybe I'll mention them in the future if they come on the show or something. They're very cool. Um, you know, we'll, we'll probably be in contact with them moving forward, but like I met a bunch of famous people who were spent a lot of time with me. I never thought I'd meet. I never never didn't think I'd meet them. I never thought I wouldn't meet them. I just didn't know I would meet them. And um, here's what occurred to me. Your, your life and your reality is limited by your beliefs. And things that you believe are possible are possible for you, and things that you don't believe are possible are not possible. It just, they, it'll happen on accident at best if anything happens. It hit me really hard. This is a real thing that people do. People really go do comedy at the Comedy Cellar in New York. People really actually go do deals in the entertainment world, make stuff happen. Um, that's the world that I've always wanted to be involved in, and it's always been going on, and it's only been over there. And I just didn't realize it and could have easily gone and done that anytime. Think about your life. Think about the things that are happening in your life. Think about the things that you're doing that you're not doing. Think about the things that you want to have happen and actually ask the question, how are they going to happen? What, do I believe that they're even possible? Like, I think that there's two levels to belief. Like, yeah, intellectually, I knew that New York existed. I knew it was a place. I knew that people lived there. I knew that people went there. I knew that stuff happened there. Every, you know, all these movies I had seen that are shot there. But I didn't know if New York was real in the sense that that building across the street was real. And now it's real to me. Maybe ask yourself the question, what do I have to do to make the things that I want to have happen real to me? What do they have to, what has to happen to make it real? Because you have to accept that that's a real thing. I remember back when I really struggled with um, dating. Uh, I, for a long time, I was really terrible with people and I was really terrible with women. Uh, and I had to learn from some guys like Adam Lyons, uh, you know, Neil Strauss. I had to talk to those kinds of guys. And... One of the things that finally occurred to me is I thought, wow, if I actually want to spend time with a woman, I have to actually spend time with a woman. I actually have to go talk to them. I have to get good at talking to them. I have to not be a creep. I have to actually go do those things. And there was some separation of that when I realized it that finally settled in to me. And I thought, wow, I actually need to go do this stuff. The same is true with entertainment and me going to New York. I'm going to move there. That's real. It's going to happen. And I really have to actually know that these things are true. There's almost a click like, oh, I want to date a woman. Oh, I actually have to go do the things to make that happen. Those things have to be real to me. Think about your life. Think about yourself. What kind of things do you know that you need to do that maybe you, you don't know are real? that you're doing things operating on a level of belief that's down here, it's intellectual, it's not visceral, it's not true, it's not, you don't see it physically. Think about that, man, because it really blew my mind this weekend. Anyway, the madness continues.